of applause, it's Alessandra Oliveira! <laughs> I hope I live up to all $15 of your expectations. <laughs> um, so, I made a discovery the other night. I discovered that I'm an endangered species. I am the only 26-year-old on the internet that doesn't identify as a fucking Instagram model. <laughs> and like, I can, I can see a couple of you going, but Alessandro is such a beautiful <laughs> specimen. That couldn't possibly be true. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what this is about. <laughs> no, if you were to go onto my feed right now, you would find five or six people that I went to school with, boys and girls, all in the exact same pose. The... <laughs> I'm sorry, I dropped my personality. <laughs> with some completely bonkers caption underneath like, at the end, they won't care about how many followers you had. <laughs> like, share and subscribe for more wisdom. <laughs> hashtag blessed. Hashtag sexy. Hashtag insta famous. Hashtag so humble. <laughs> and it works! Somehow it works. Somehow these people have like tons and tons of followers and it I don't understand it because as far as I've always been concerned from when I was little to when I'm now, it's always been if you want to be an influencer, if you want to be inspirational, you had to have something, you had to have money or you had to be famous or you had to be an athlete. But now apparently all you have to be is unemployed with herpes and a reasonably decent camera. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Um, the other night, I finally got around to watching the trailer for the next Toy Story movie. And I know, right? I'm so excited for it. And like, you know, it's number four, it's meant to be the last one, and if you believe that, you probably believe that this is John Farnham's farewell tour. <laughs> but let's go through the history, okay? So in Toy Story 1, we met the neighbors' uh, toys. In Toy Story 2, we met the Toy Store collector's toys, and Toy Story 3, I don't remember because I was crying. <laughs> but Toy Story 4, the only logical progression that we have is that we get to meet Andy's mum's toys. Oh. Because... <laughs> I like how that's sort of built up. <laughs> because it, it's the only way it works. In the first three movies, we haven't met Dad. We haven't met new mum. We haven't met Consuela the house cleaner. Which means that somewhere in that house, there is a 10 inch purple vibrator with dents like a fucking cricket bat and PTSD, voiced by Will Smith doing his best little John impression. And he's gonna like slither into the room. And all the other toys are gonna be staring at him and Woody's gonna go, well, hi, my name's Woody. Get the fuck out of here! My name's Woody too! <laughs> His name's Buzz. Oh shit! <laughs> you wanna come play with this? I see some shit, man! Anybody got some double A's? I got a game with some double D's, know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, and anyone who's not laughing at that, don't be weird about this, okay? Nobody's believing that a 10 inch purple vibrator is voiced by Steve Buscemi, alright? <laughs> Stereotypes exist, and not all of them are bad. <laughs> Speaking of vibrators, I got married last year. Thank you, it's not an achievement. And like, it's only been like nine months, so I don't have any like amazing advice to give you, but if I do have one piece of information to pass over, it is, it doesn't matter if you're a man, a woman, trans man, trans woman, fucking hentai body pillow, it is all the same. If you are going to date slash get married to a woman, you need to be prepared for her to ask you the dumbest, fucking craziest, hypothetical questions without any kind of context at all. <laughs> and I know the lights are really bright, but I can see a lot of guilty faces right now. <laughs> so like, my wife and I were sitting on the couch the other night, we were watching The Lion King, and like, Mufasa had died, they'd done Hakuna Matata, it's basically just filler from there. And she turns to me and she goes, if I had four crab legs and a penis on my head, would you still find me attractive? 
and like, I don't want to play this game, all right? I've done it too many times, but I also need some follow-up information. <laughs> so I was like, well, how big is the penis? Which, strike one, because the actual answer is yes. <laughs> and she got shitty with that, and so she was like, oh, I don't know, like, two inches? And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Anything under six, I just can't fucks with. <laughs> because fellas, let's face it, if your woman is slinging six inches of dick off her forehead, you take her and you marry her. Because unicorns are fucking magical. <laughs> Thank you so much, my name's Alessandro, I'm going now.